Business is my biggest hobby, actually. I just love building companies and it's just exciting to me. It wasn't into it to make money. I just wanted to help people out. The exciting part was learning all the new things that come with it and all the challenges. Like it's just like getting a new video game almost. And that's how I see life a lot of times. It's like, it's like a video game. Like you're in a real life GTA right now. You may not realize it and the matrix exists. Do you want to play the nine to five game or do you want to play GTA and have fun? You know, <laughs> like. I'm wondering now, you, I mean, you seem to know a lot of people as well, yet you've always been kind of low key. I mean, I, I didn't know about you until, you know, Dan uh, introduced us. So how have you gone about like networking with interesting people? Has it just been natural or what? I mean, it's all been through like people like yourself. I mean, I'm very like close to the people that have good integrity. And I always just try to, you know, share as much value as I can. And that is what really gets you far is like helping other people. And, you know, if it wouldn't be any other way, like if I didn't help people, I wouldn't have a network today. But you know, those people introduce you to other people and you just happen to get in a good circle, really. So just, you know, best advice is like you never know who's going to be successful too these days. There's a lot of people who are just starting out that end up being really successful later. So don't discount the small people. I love that. I think that's really, that's really awesome advice and like wholesome too, because I think there is a lot like an elitist mentality a little bit in the entrepreneur community, at least like on social media. And I don't know, I don't like that. It's like, how it i tweeted about this the other day because i thought it was interesting that a lot of people really hate for example on the nine to five job and i'm like well how can you build an elite team if you don't respect people who have a job you know what i mean i'm like it just doesn't really make sense to me then who's gonna work for you <laughs> right <laughs> like you need employees so like i love employees if you work a nine to five man you are my best friend because i would love to hire you if you have the value that i need for my company that's awesome so as far as like finding those products now because you've obviously built like a product research tool that's insanely powerful it's really the only thing i use nowadays just to for everything really so what oh, cool, what do you look for when it comes to like a, a product is it solely demand uh or is there other things that you look for so for me it's a lot different than most people just because i like to go where the competition is to me competition means opportunity first mm -hmm. off a lot of people are afraid of competition and I, I really don't think that you should be afraid of competition um it's a good sign if there's competition um but i also look at is this a product that I'm going to be selling five years from now and that there's going to be a demand for that's like the number one question I ask myself because I don't want to spend a lot of time and investment into a product that's just going to be a trend as much as I know a lot of people that do make a lot of money there it's just a different type of hustle you know and I respect that but my hustle is all about long-term brands with the idea of exiting those companies because consider this if you do a million dollars profit in one year, okay, you can multiply that by three or four times in addition to that million dollars you just made by selling your company. So it's like, to me, there's a lot more value there than just trying to make a quick buck on a trend. Because if I could be in it for the marathon, I'm going to make three to four times the amount of money that I just made in the last year. That's so true. Good marathon analogy being a long distance runner. That makes a lot of sense. So what do you, do you have any other hobbies then outside of your, like, you know, lifting, for example, do you have any other hobbies or, or is business kind of like the game for you? Business is like my biggest hobby, actually. Like, I just love building companies and it's just exciting to me where if I can figure out how to do something new it's just like a new hobby to me. Like software was a new hobby for me. I, it wasn't into it to make money. I just wanted to help people out. But the exciting part was learning all the new things that come with it and all the challenges. Like 
Mm. It's just like getting a new video game almost. And that's how I see life a lot of times. It's like, it's like a video game. Like you're in a real life GTA right now. You may not realize it. And the Matrix exists. But it's just depending on what game do you want to play. You know, what game are you going to put in today? Do you want to play the 9 to 5 game? Or do you want to play GTA and have fun? You know, <laughs> like mm -hmm. there's so many different ways to do it. You know, do you want to be a good person? Do you want to be a bad person? I mean, you know, it's your choice. That's deep. That's so true.